Good morning. Today we welcome Bishop Golka in our celebration of Mass. In today's Gospel according to Luke, we see that the experience of being with Jesus leads Peter to this judgment. He is the Christ of God, but this Christ must suffer greatly, be rejected, be killed, and be raised. That event will shake the heavens and the earth. For those who join in Peter's profession, the Lord pr replies, Take courage, for I am with you. Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And it is really good to be here with you today. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done. Sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us for our lasting life. 
A reading from the book of the prophet Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, on the 21st day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Tell this to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and to the high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadak, and, and to the remnant of the people. Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? And how do you see it now? Does it not seem like nothing in your eyes? But now, take courage, Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and take courage, Joshua, high priest, son of Jehozadak, and take courage, all you people of the land, says the Lord, and work. For I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. This is the pact that I made with you when you came out of Egypt, and my spirit continues in your midst. Do not fear, for thus says the Lord of hosts, one moment, yet a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land, I will, say, I will shake all the nations, and the treasures of the, all the nations will come in, and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Mine is silver, and mine is the gold, says the Lord of hosts. Greater will be the future glory of this house than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give you peace, says the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, the Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed on the third day and be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. It's really good to be here with you. I forgot my name. Does anybody know my name? Yeah, what's my name? Bishop Golka, that's right, thank you. My first name is Jim, so I've been a bishop, I forget, have I been a bishop for less than three months or for 30 years? 30 years, nope. <laughs> that's a good guess though. I've been a bishop for less than three months, so I'm brand new to you here. I grew up in Nebraska, I went to a Catholic grade school, and I went to Catholic grade school for first and second grade, but after second grade they had to close our school because we could not afford it anymore. And I was very sad. I was also kind of mad at our bishop, and now I'm a bishop. <laughs> also then in seventh grade, I went back to Catholic school, and I did Catholic school ever since, for middle school, high school, college, and seminary. So I want to introduce you today to a friend of mine. And this friend of mine is very important to me. And this friend of mine, you've met him, and you've talked to him, and he's heard every word you've said to him. And he talks to you and he talks to me, and sometimes we hear what he says, but sometimes we don't. And this friend is someone who's not only a friend, but he also is the reason why we're here, because he made us. And this friend is Jesus. And every time we come together to celebrate Mass, Jesus is all around us. And you know when you go back to your classroom, Jesus is all around you there too. But at Mass, for this time, we're sitting down and we're all looking this way to say, we want to look to you, Jesus, talk to us. And he just did in the readings from Scripture and in the psalm that we sang, and pretty soon he's going to come and be present with us in his body and blood. The Latin phrase for that is Corpus Christi, which is the name of this school. And so he's going to come and he's going to give himself to you. Well, I want to help us today to talk to him, because you see, Jesus is my best friend, and he wants to be your best friend. And as adults, if I just meet somebody that I don't know very well, I say, hi, how are you? The weather's fine, right? I don't want to talk to Jesus that way. When you talk to your best friend, you tell them everything. So you tell them the best part of your day, and you also tell them the worst part of your day. Because your best friend cares about you, and they want to receive all of that so that they can better love you. And that's what Jesus wants to do. So we're going to take a second together, and we're going to talk to him in our mind, and he's going to hear you. And when Jesus talks to us, it's great because sometimes he talks to like all of us at one time, and then during Mass, he also talks to every one of us individually. So Jesus wants you to hear something he has to say today. But let's take a second and let's talk to him in our mind and in our heart. And first of all, just tell him thank you for making you. Just take a second inside and tell him 
thank you for making me. Thank you for creating me. Thank you for my heart beating today. Thank you for giving me a mind that can study and learn. Thank you for giving me a heart that can love. Then the next thing I want you to do is to talk to him and say, thank you for my mom and my dad. Your mom and dad sacrificed so you can be in this Catholic school because they love you and they want you to hear Jesus. So just take a second and tell Jesus, thank you for my mom and dad. Now what I want you to do is to ask Jesus to help your mom and dad. So is there anything special that your mom and dad need today? Maybe you know something that they're struggling with or they're having a rough day or they're working really hard. So just take a second and ask Jesus, please take care of my mom and dad today. So tell them that in your heart and your mind. Now I want you to think about your teacher, maybe more than one, a couple of teachers that are here. They are here because they also love Jesus and they know that Jesus loves them and they want to share that with you. So just tell Jesus, thank you for my teacher and please take care of my teacher today. So take a second and pray for your teacher. Now I want you to think about one thing in your life that's been difficult. Like what's something rough that you need help with? Just take a second and ask Jesus to help you with that one thing. What's something you need help with in your life right now? You guys are going great. Jesus loves it when you talk to him. And Jesus isn't alone because he has a Father and a Holy Spirit. And whenever you talk to Jesus, all of them hear you. And they all want to help you. And God the Father, he knows everything, right? So why do we talk to him if he already knows everything? Well, think about this. If you had a baseball game, and if you did really good, but your dad wasn't there to watch you, and your dad's friend saw you, and so your dad's friend called your dad at home and said, your son or your daughter had a really good game today. And then your friend told your dad everything you did. And then imagine if you got home and you said, Dad, let me tell you about the game that I had. Would your dad say, I already heard about it, I don't want to hear? No, he'd want to hear everything, wouldn't he? That's what God the Father does. He wants to hear everything about you, even though he knows it because he loves you. And so he never gets tired of you talking to him. So lastly, let's take a second and just tell Jesus in your heart, Tell him whatever you want him to know about you. Ask him to be your friend. And ask him to show himself to you. And then when we finish talking to him, we have a word. And that word is like, okay, I'm going to give all of this to you with all my heart. And that word is amen. So the count of three, everyone say amen. One, two, three. And remember when we talk to Jesus, everybody hears it, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. So then one of the marks that we do is we say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Son and, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. and you can say amen again. Amen. So, last so lastly, the gospel, gospel today, Jesus looked at his friends, his disciples, and he said, who do people say that I am? They said, well, well something here, John the Baptist, something here, a prophet. And Jesus looked at them, his friends, and he said, how about you? Who do you say that I am? Jesus was right in front of you today, looking you in the eye. And if he asked you, who do you say that I am for you? What would you say back to him? I tell him, you're my best friend, but you're also my savior. And you're the creator of the whole world. And you're the reason why we're here. So take one second and tell him, when he asks you, who do you say that I am? What would you say back to him? Now let us stand together and raise our prayers and our petitions. We offer our prayers because God is a Father who loves us and he wants to hear what our needs are. That God may provide us with fortitude to sustain his church in our faith and his divine help. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord. of the soul and adventure are for him we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer and for all of you that you can know better how much jesus cares for you we pray to the lord lord Lord, hear our prayer be present O lord to your people at prayer so that what they do not have the confidence or presumption to ask they may obtain by the merits of your son's passion who lives and reigns forever and ever
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your saints for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and all of His church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Give them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise adds nothing to your greatness, that profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. <laughs> have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. <laughs> Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that 
we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of a reconciliation be prayed for and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift will work in your life and take possession of our bodies and bodies, so that, so that its effects are not our own desires, and always prevail in us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. During my holiday, I just wish my friend Jesus, the best friend you could ever have. We also have friends here on earth. We have one friend that's very important to our Catholic schools. Her name is Sheila. She's in the back and she helps oversee. Sheila, if you can hold your hand up. If you respond, Sheila, she helps your principals. <laughs> This is the first grade school mass that I've got to celebrate as a bishop, and I got to do it with you, so I'm so happy for that. Have a blessed day today. May the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Sing to my Lord, the Archangel, the madness of battle, the hour of action against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and be thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into heaven Satan, and all the evil spirits who are about the world, seeking for ruin of souls. Amen.